Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, troubleshoot autofocus and why it might not be working for you. Um, this video is basically going to be just a reference point to help those who are having issues with autofocus and a quick way for me to help you without having to type it out each time. I can just drop this video in a chat for you guys. So with all that said, let's jump into it. As you can see, I've got my example all up and ready to go. You'll probably be at this point whenever you're going to use autofocus, and then it's going to start giving you a random error message if it's not working, like no material detected or enter in a material thickness, something along those lines. And I'm going to tell you why it's doing that um, and wh what you can do to try to help it. If none of these steps work, you may have to contact support, and they may have to get you something like a part to fix this. But I'm going to go through the basic troubleshooting steps on what you guys can do to get this corrected. For this example, we're going to be using um, our 3D cassette design. Um, after it's printed, it's going to look like this. Uh, if you want this design, it is available on FreshStartCustoms.com or on Etsy with our uh, Fresh Start Customs shop there. And that helps support the channel, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys support the channel in any way that you can in the future. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into um, autofocus. Once you're on this screen here, all you're going to do is click the three dots, and then you're going to click set focus. So with this, you can see there is like a little uh, rectangle around your mouse wheel, and you have to click somewhere on your screen to, to set the autofocus point. So, for example, if you click in this black area that's already been cut out, if you have a sheet that's been cut out, it's going to throw up that error message saying that um, it cannot detect the material. Uh, try again. And then if you click in the black again, you're going to get that over and over and over. So if you're clicking in the black area right on the crumb tray, um, don't do that. That's why you're getting that error message. Um, another thing that you could be doing wrong is if you have the crumb tray completely out of your machine, and you're just laying the material flat on the metal surface. Um, that's why you're not getting it either. The laser can't detect that far down. So you would actually have to raise your material up to above the crumb tray height for it to, de to detect properly. So those are the two main reasons on why this would be happening. But what you want to do to set it properly is right here is our engraving and cutting area. I'm going to just click right about here. I want it to focus right there. And then right now, the laser head, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, is focusing on that area. It's going to change the height of the material to the correct size. That way, the settings that you have chosen, which in this case is the medium draft board here, um, will be the right thickness and the right settings to cut through that material without actually not cutting through all the way, if that makes sense there. So... My autofocus worked correctly. If at this point it's still not working for you, what you'll want to do is clean your camera lens, um, the main camera lens that is at the top of your lid. You'll also want to clean the little um, uh, lens on the bottom. There's like a little like picture lens on the bottom of the laser head too. So you want to clean those two lenses. Um, and it wouldn't hurt to just clean all the lenses in general, like the side lens, and that way you have enough power. But the camera lens is what helps focus it. So you'll definitely want to clean those camera lenses, make sure everything is clean. But like I said, the main two things is going to be this black area, and if you don't have the crumb tray in, and it's not the correct height. So uh, I hope this helped you out. I know it was a real quick, short video here. But I wanted to get out that troubleshooting steps for you guys on why autofocus may not be working for you guys. Um, other than that, it's been Josh with Fresh Start Customs, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.